गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग मैम आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर एग्जाम आर ओवर मेटर्न एग्जाम माय नॉट डन मैम वन मोर इज लेफ्ट ओके वन मोर लेफ्ट मैम साइंस इज ओवर और नॉट साइंस ओवर Yes, ma'am. Over, ma'am. So, which all chapters were the in the syllabus? Light, humanize. Yes, ma'am. That's it. Did anyone have electricity and magnetic also? Ma'am, no, I had electricity. Okay. I had electricity. So, which Chapter you want to revise or you want to move with magnetic any topic to start with fresh. Ma'am, can we start magnetic if every if everybody else is fine? Okay, ha. Huh. Uh, magnetic. Uh, so, uh, from the beginning. Ma'am, after that, resistance, na ma'am, that heating and magnetic. Effect. After the. Ma'am, after that resistance, that parallel. Resistance topic. Revision no, ma'am. That resistance after that, ma'am. That heating and magnetic effect. Heating effect. You want to revise? Okay. You have yes, exam. Science exam now. No, ma'am. That's over. But uh, we did not learn about the heating effect. Okay. Okay. Uh, tell me, everyone, personally, if you can uh, tell me in the chat, we I can quickly decide what to do now. We can continue with electricity. Fine. Okay, so uh, I feel that electricity we can revise, you know, because there is a lot of stuff in uh, different various types of portion. Fine, it's okay. I'm sharing a worksheet. Is that readable? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. See, that's a practice going on. So I want everybody to respond. Okay, which one of the following is uh, the correct setup for studying the dependence of current on potential difference across a resistor? Look at the resistor, and with that, how a voltmeter and ammeter are connected. Um, C. Everyone, quickly. C. C only? Yes, ma'am. Why not A? Ma'am, because the voltmeter is not connected in parallel. Um, voltmeter has to be connected in series. It is connected in. Uh, it, it has to be connected in parallel. It, it is connected in series. Why not B? Because voltmeter is connected in series, not in parallel. Okay. 
No one? I'm second person, right? Okay, me. No idea about this, how to solve. Tell me quickly, we cannot wait for this. B. Hmm? B. B. This one. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you mean R one will be greatest than R two or three? Others you can quickly tell me. Fine. Uh, do you know about slope of graph? Yes, ma'am. It gives resistance. Yes. Yes. It gives resistance. Okay. What's the formula to find slope for any kind of graph? No, don't learn it that way because it will be difficult in case, you know, they change the parameters on X and Y axis. You'll get confused. So the basic formula is delta Y upon delta X. Means whatever uh, parameter we have on Y axis should be in numerator and whatever is there in, uh, on X axis should be in denominator. That's the general formula. So learn this one. Okay. Now Y upon X. Suppose we have uh, X and Y values, not X and Y, let's say A and B values. On Y axis, this time we have I and on X we have V. So first tell me I by V is the formula of, from Ohm's law, I by V gives us what? I by V. Ohm's law says V equals to I R. From this, if I take out I by V, then you know, one v, by R. R will be here. Means one i by v is giving me one by r. Okay. So first thing is slope of i v graph because you know many a times we'll find i v. Sometimes you'll we'll, you'll see v i. That will make a confusion definitely. So learn with this way. Delta y upon delta x. Just look at y axis on top, x axis in denominator, and look what value are you getting r or one by r. Fine. This time we are getting one by r. So you must be remembering that whichever uh, line or whichever resistance is close to Y axis, that means it is steeper, means the angle with the X axis is highest for the one that is close to Y. So that means in general, the one closest to the Y axis is said to be the uh, greatest value of slope. Ignore my spelling mistake. It's a bit difficult to write here. Greatest slope value, highest slope slope value, and this has a smallest slope value. Is this fine? Is this fine, Tignastin? Yes. Now, if greatest slope, slope is giving us 1 by R. If 1 by R1 is greater and 1 by R3 is smallest, don't you think that to find out the value of R1 and R3, we need to reciprocate? Means if 1 by R1 is greatest, then R1 will become the smallest. Very simple now. Suppose 1 by R1 is a 4 and 1 by R3 is, we have said, smallest. This is, let's say, 2. Now reverse them. Find out R1 here. R1 will be 1 by 4. 
and here R3 will be 1 by 2. Now find the value. 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 and 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. Now the values are changed. It means R3 is actually greatest. R3 is actually bigger and R1 is smallest. So this time R3 is the biggest one. So C optimal. Any doubt or should I explain again? No. If you want to note this, you can because this type of question, one question definitely you are going to find in your exam. So that's the concept of graph, group of graph this. And we have to see every time the slope is giving one by our value or r, then according to the one which is closer to the y will be the biggest, means its slope will be the biggest, then you can see. Okay, should I raise? You have to hurt. Resistivity does not change if. Okay? Resistivity will have no effect if what material is changed, temperature change, shape change, or both material and temperature. In class, come on. Have you done this chapter in your regular class? Yes. Then, on what factor does the resistivity depend? Material. Material temperature. If we change the shape of conductor, will it change? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? No, no. No, ma'am, it will not. Huh. On with change in shape, it will not change. We have to tell this time resistivity does not change. Okay. So with shape, it will not change. Temperature will have a slight change. Material definitely have a change. Both material and temperature. So don't you think C will be option? C, ma'am. Hmm. Remember, it depends on area of cross section, no, ma'am. Change the shape. Which other factor will be affected if this change in shape is what do you think that resistance will change if we change shape yes ma'am what is the difference between resistivity and resistance of conductor Resistivity depends on the material it is made of, and resistance uh, is the power to like. I have got the definition, proper definition of resistance, but it depends on four major things temperature, mm -hmm. nature of object, area of cross section, and length. After temperature, I couldn't hear you. Temperature, nature of the object, mm -hmm. uh, area of cross section, and length. Oh. So, resistivity is also known as specific resistance. Means for unit area of cross section, for unit length of a particular material, whatever the resistance is, that will be termed as resistivity of that material. Means for unit area of cross section, you can say one meter square and one meter of length, that will be the resistivity of the Okay. Uh, I think we should move to the heat, uh, the Joule's law of heating question because somebody was asking about that. You know? And wait, let me scroll down. Uh, 
लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व रेट एट विच एनर्जी इज डिलीवर्ड बाय करेंट इज डिटरमाइंड बाय सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स आई कैन सी एंड वन वॉइस आई कैन हियर इन रेट ऑफ एनर्जी इज हीट है ना look at the sentence again rate at which energy is delivered it means energy per unit time energy per unit time is electrical power yes so it's not heat it's power okay next look at 13 उन्होंने लिखा कि सॉकेट की इंटरडिशन बाइज एडीएमसी रेटिंग फोर्टी एटी एन हंड्रेड बाइज रेस्पेक्टिवली कंप्लीट कर लिया है तो जो मैं फॉलोइंग स्लाइड है तो मतलब मैं गार्डन का बाइज है तो वी हैव थ्री वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड विथ थ्री थ्री बाइज एडीएमसी हैविंग डिफरेंट पावर बट कनेक्टेड टू � bulge of uh, brightness of all will be same a maximum b will be more than a or c will be less than b whatever tell me think about it you can think about formula also on what factor does the brightness depend Bulb C will uh, grow the brightest. C will be the bright. It will be C option in this case. Yes, one C option. Everyone, please answer. Even the lesson that I did, no, B will be more than number B. B will definitely not be maximum. Okay. So your concept is it depends directly on the value of power. The more the power, the more the brightness. Right? Is it or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Next. An electric kettle consumes one kilowatt of electric power when operated at two twenty volt. Use of what uh, rating must be used for it? One ampere. Hmm. One ampere. How are you solving this? No wait. How we calculate that? What value of U is needed? First, we need to see that what is the actual rating of the appliance. Like power is one kilowatt, uh, potential is two twenty volt. Find out the value of I. What's the formula? Relation between V, P, and I. I equals P by V. Hundred by twenty two. Hundred by twenty two. Is Wait. how much? P by eleven. Fifty by eleven. Then. Approximately, if you can tell the value. Four point four four point zero. Four point zero. Four. Four point zero four. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
now till according to 4.04 that value should be used can we no, use no ma'am no ma'am no, ma sorry 4.5 out of four given options only you, you have to tell can we use one ampere or two ampere also ma'am we can use d ma'am five amperes because mm -hmm. the value is more approximate mm -hmm. means the the fuse wire should be slightly higher than the rating of the plant yes ma'am means higher than the current rating of the plant <clears throat> 15. Any <coughs> indicator of PV in your house operates that this and this, then it's power. Calculate the power. Come on, please tell me. P equals to V I simply. V is 0.75 and I is 100. M stands for? Mega. Milli. Milli. Yeah, milli, milli. 10 to the power minus 3. And then 10 power minus 1. Yeah, M stands for mega. Hmm. 10 power minus 1 ampere. Then... And ma'am, then power equals to V into I. 0 0.75 into 10 power minus 1. Just a minute. Go 10 to power minus 3. And this decimal will be cancelled by this. 75 into 10 to the power minus 3. We can see 75 millimeter. Is it A? Yes, ma'am. Did you people solve also or because I have picked she just said yes? My mind calculation. Mm, anything to note or should I raise clear annotation? Should I clear it out? Okay. Plus then say. Yes, ma'am. Uh, look at a certain reason. Read out the options first, the four options, then read out 16. So what about 16? Longer wires have greater resistance and smaller wires have lesser. Yes, well, that's true. Assertion is true. Okay. okay. Uh, so because the resistance is inversely proportional to length. No, well, that's false. Statement is false or is not the correct, not the correct explanation? No, answer will be C. Reason is false. Assertion is true. Hmm. Assertion is true, but reason is false, so C option. Seventeen. Connecting wires are made of copper. Connecting wires are only made of copper. Electrical conductivity of copper is two. What will you say about 17? Um, it will be A. Both are true and R explains A. Okay. 
क्लास सेवन नॉट एवरी वन इज आंसरिंग वाई सॉरी क्लास सेवन आंसरिंग क्लास टेन वेपन Are are we discussing something out of your syllabus? Tell me, other students, is it out of your syllabus? No, ma'am. No. That's revision, not a test. At least we can discuss. If your answer is wrong, that's fine. If I don't know, but if you people are hesitating, never ever do that. Either we are correct. or we are incorrect no other option other than this be open every time we are here to you know grow only read out it in when resistances are connected end to end consecutively they are said to be in series uh, is assertion true true okay In case the total resistance is to be decreased, then individual resistance are connected in parallel. True. So, is reason the explanation of assertion? B. No. No. It means B. Nineteen. The fuse is placed in series with the device. Do we need to place? the fuse only in series or we have option to connect in parallel too mm. hmm? we can place it in series no we can place it in series because no ma'am no, because if option what ma'am i am asking you fuse is only placed in series or we can connect in parallel too Mom, only placed in series, ma'am. Because, 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 because when when the electricity flows, ma'am, and if it is high, ma'am, then then when it passes through that fuse, then it will disconnect, ma'am. Whereas this will not happen in the parallel; it will continue. Correct, because current used to be same only in series connection, and we want that excess of current to get passed through the fuse and safe. Keep our appliance safe. That's why fuse is only placed only placed in series. Okay, the so fuse consists of a piece of wire made of metal or an alloy of appropriate melting point. Is that true also? Is this also true? Yes, ma'am. It is true. So, correct explanation. Oh, no, ma'am. B. Quickly solve twentieth also because then I have to end the meeting. I have another class line. A two hundred watt bulb glows with more. Twenty A for this. A correct. Assertion correct. And a hundred watt bulb has more resistance than two hundred watt bulb. Is it also true? Tell me first, assertion is true or not? Yes, ma'am, it is true. That is true. Hundred watt bulb has a more resistance value. Yes, ma'am. You mean? Wait, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. If P equals to V R, V equals to I R. Means I square R, so we can here see that P is directly proportional to R because both are in numerator. So, hundred watt bulb has more resistance than two hundred watt bulb. Ma'am, nineteenth one is A, no ma'am. I don't think it's necessary. Reason is false. Okay, this is false. A is true, so C option. Ma'am, nineteenth is A, no ma'am. Nineteenth is A, no ma'am. Speak loudly, please, Arun. Nineteenth is A, no ma'am. Nineteenth is A. Nineteenth will be B. 
Man, but they said no, my melting point, then it will melt at that point only. No, no but you know, what about uh, how melting point and the connection in series are uh, related? Uh, do we place Qs in series because of melting point? No, man. It's because the current should, uh, the same value of excess current should pass through the fuse. That is the reason. Okay. okay so, uh, if we get the chance again, we'll continue with the revision of chapters. But it was nice to meet you, people. So, bye-bye. Bye, -bye. bye.